Hello everyone and welcome to another Art Journal page for the Arts Trio collaboration. This time the mood board is created by Gina B. Arons and the theme is Starting New Adventures. I like the color combination, felt like kind of vintage. So I got a plan in my head. I start by gluing down some different papers, book papers, pattern papers, and you also see me use some wrapping paper, brown wrapping paper. And I use decoupage glue from my leans. I like to use white gesso with my small brayer. If I got too much gesso somewhere on the page, I wipe it off with a baby wipe. This time I'm using my intense blocks from Durbant. They are like watercolor but they are permanent when they are dry. I start with some clean water and then just the paint. You can use the sticks in different ways. This is probably the quickest way to get paint down. This is too much dark, so I take a baby wipe and just dab off some color. And then I continue with the same colors 
in different layers until I'm satisfied with how it looks. have a plan with my focal point and I want more white in the background so that the focal point will pop more. I use my fingers because I like the softness that I can get with my fingers. No harsh lines between the paints or gesso. And here I use a small text stamp and then a stamp from um, Kaisercraft with uh, Harlequin, I think it's called. I love these stamps. Here you can see my focal point. It's a paper doll from uh, Tim Holtz and a butterfly from a paper or something. I like to use book paper in the background for my focal point to make it more visible. The uh, I saw the butterfly in the mood board as well, so I thought why not? have some text stickers from uh, Tim Holtz and I think this is looking better than the circle one. And now it's time for some shading. But this is a dark brown. You can use an ordinary pencil as well and a blending stump. And here comes the baby wipe. Got too much darkness around it.
I use a Posca pen with a small tip and make some very small dots here and there just to make some interesting marks on the page. Now it's time to remove the tape and I use my heat tool to make it easier. But be careful because it's very hot. And I like to put a small frame around my pages. page is finished. I put a link in the description box below to the Facebook group so you can check it out and uh, do uh, the challenge yourself. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next video. Bye for now!